Going on a cruise is exciting, but packing isn't easy. These cruise packing hacks will help you to pack better, pack lighter, and keep organized for your cruise. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I have to say there are a few things that I like better than packing and cruise hacks. So I love just combining these two together and I have been collecting tips and tricks for a little while. And because I have so many, I'm gonna give them to you a little bit rapid fire style. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, plan your outfits for your cruise. Now this can seem easier said than done, but it really isn't so hard. After all, you do have an itinerary and you know which days you're in port and which days you're on the cruise ship. So just plan your outfits a little bit by thinking about what excursions you're going to be doing and what activities you do have planned. Now for the evening, plan a combination of mostly casual and smart casual outfits and a couple outfits that are a little bit more dressy if you like that. Now something not to forget is to bring enough underwear, to bring socks and your sleepwear. And don't forget when it comes to your shoes, if you wanna pack lighter, make sure that your shoes, well, that they go with several outfits rather than just one or two. Number two, use packing cubes. Now I love to use packing cubes because not only do they help stay organized when you're packing your different items, honestly, I pack less since I am using my packing cubes, but also when you do unpack in your cruise ship cabin, you can actually just put your packing cubes of different sizes, you can put them right onto the shelves. Now recently I bought compression cubes. I just bought a set of these because I did wanna see what I like them better than packing cubes. Now I do think if you are trying to pack carry-on only, this can be super handy to have. Please let me know if you prefer compression cubes or packing cubes. When it comes to packing your clothing, I swear by this, it is a space saver, roll, don't fold unless you have a pair of pants or a pair of shorts in that case i do think that is best folded when it comes to your pre-cruise hotel stay make sure that you do have a separate packing cube packed with the clothing that you're going to be wearing sleepwear etc and something else just make sure that you do is bring a carry-on bag not only are you going to need this for your flight if you're flying in you'll want this for your pre-cruise hotel stay but you'll also want a carry-on bag to bring onto the ship on embarkation day now always make sure to pack at least one change of clothes in your carry-on bag so you want a change of clothes you want some swimwear just in case even flip-flops, medication, valuables, and electronics. Bring downy wrinkle release. So on cruise ships, you generally do not have an iron at your disposal or a clothing steamer to be able to get the wrinkles out of your clothing. Now, sometimes there is a laundrette that is on board that you can use, but many cruise ships don't have this. So you'll wanna have a wrinkle release spray to be able to spray your clothing and get those wrinkles out. And I do have a little hack for you. The other hack is if you have a hair straightener, just make sure that it is clean, but you can use that hair straightener to also straighten out some of the wrinkles that you might have on the bottom of shirts and the bottom of skirts. Put your shoes in shoe bags when you pack your luggage or a little hack is you can actually use the plastic shower caps that you might find at the dollar store or maybe you pick these up at your hotel stays. You can use these to put your shoes in into your luggage and this way nothing else gets dirty. By the way, I picked up an entire bag of shoe bags. I think there's about 10 of them in here and this has been perfect. Of course, they are reusable as well use a packing cube shelf combination organizer. Now this is absolutely genius. I've seen this recommended in the Life Well Cruise Facebook community and I decided to purchase this and look at how incredible this is. So first of all, it all folds up right into this section. So it folds up nice and small and you can actually put your shirts, shorts, other items, and even things that you want to stay right in the zipped compartment, you can place those inside and then you can put it directly in your luggage. Now, when you get to your cruise cabin, you will just take these hooks and you'll put them directly into the closet. And you can do this for hotel stays as well. 
By the way, all of the items that I am showing you in this video, I will leave them all linked down below in the description of this video in case you do want to check them out. Prevent your liquids from leaking. So whether they're in your checked bag or in your carry-on luggage, there's almost nothing worse than leaking toiletries in your bag. So what you want to do is you could do a few different things. You could buy toiletry skins. These actually do work. I did purchase them, but I have to admit, I haven't been using them lately because instead I've just been using Ziploc bags to put my toiletry items. Now, another little tip or a hack is you can actually just undo the cap of any of your toiletry bottles, your mini shampoos, things like that, and put a little bit of saran wrap there and that should do the trick as well. Be sure to pack a portable phone charger. Now, I just got this one and I'm actually pretty amazed. And again, I saw it recommended and I thought I would give it a try. What's really nice is that you do have all of these plugs here. So in this case, I have my iPhone and I'm able to charge my phone directly from here. So I don't even need to bring a separate wire. Now for a little space saving hack, when you have any small items, what you'll want to do is pack those into your shoes inside your luggage or your carry-on bag. And something that I do as well is I usually bring one or two evening bags. And what I've started to do is pack items into my evening bag. So one of the things that I could put is a scarf and something else is a jewelry bag. Bring a backpack that doubles as a carry-on bag, but really can be counted as a personal bag. So as an example, this one here, and it's really been very popular. I just purchased it. It is pretty amazing. It has several compartments. So it has a compartment for your laptop. It has a really good section that actually is a size of really practically a carry-on suitcase. So you can put your packing cubes and other items in there. Bring a small mesh shower caddy. Now, I think a lot of people know that you definitely can bring an over the door hanging organizer. Those are super handy. But if you don't want to bring all of that, you don't have that many items, you can actually bring something a little smaller. So this actually has six or sometimes they have seven or eight pouches. And what you can do is either you can use it right in your cabin or what some people do is they use this right in the bathroom and especially in the shower. So you can actually hang this up either on um, where you would have your shower curtain or where you would have the glass door but you could also hang it right up on magnet hooks if you do use magnet hooks. Put your shampoo, razors, etc. everything right in your shower because oftentimes the shower in a cruise ship cabin is quite small and when it comes to the shelf, it's usually quite small or non-existent. Use an AirTag or a Bluetooth tracker. Nobody wants to lose or misplace their luggage and this can help. Now, when it comes to packing, clothing and laundry, something that you're going to want to do I'm, I'm not even joking about this, is wear your tighter clothing at the beginning of your cruise and save your looser, more flowy clothing for later. Now, when it comes to cruise ship laundry, something that you'll want to do is just plan a little bit if you do intend to do a little bit of laundry on your cruise. And this is especially if you are packing light. Now, in some cases, you're going to have a laundrette that you can use. In other cases, you're not going to have this. So you're going to have to hand wash in your cabin or something that you can do is you can also take advantage of the laundry specials that the cruise ships have. Now, something super smart to bring is a foldable hamper. It really is very light, doesn't take up much room in your luggage at all, but it is gonna help you to stay organized in your cruise ship cabin. And if you do do your own laundry, then you can actually use this as a laundry basket to bring to and from the laundrette. Make sure to pack a sun hat or for men, pack a cap or ladies, if that's what you like to wear, but definitely bring a sun hat, especially for any of those Caribbean cruises. And something absolutely genius is this magnetic hat clip. Now, what you do is you actually just place this on your hat and then this goes right around your backpack or your handbag or your beach bag. Now, when it comes to packing, something not to forget is packing your over-the-counter as well as, of course, your prescription medications. So it's a good idea to bring along a pill box for traveling and as well to bring along a first aid kit. Now, I like to bring even a little mini first aid kit. I just make this on my own with a little plastic baggie, some band-aids, some alcohol wipes, and some antibiotic ointment. And I bring this with me on shore excursion days. 
Now be sure not to forget to pack sunscreen, especially if you're on a Caribbean, Bahamas, Bermuda cruise. And in particular, what you'll probably want to do is try to make sure that you do get a reef safe or reef friendly sunscreen because many places do actually now ask for this and as well make sure to have lip balm nobody wants to have burned lips now when it comes to your toiletries i probably should have mentioned this a little bit earlier but make sure to bring travel size toiletry containers and things that really seal up well what i do for moisturizer is i put it in these little containers this is really the perfect size and you do want to make sure that you do bring moisturizer and lotion on a cruise the air it seems is really dry like a lot of places right even like on airplanes and i did find even on my last cruise i just could not find lotion on board at all except if i went to the spa and spent about 60 dollars, but i didn't want to do that now by the way if you are trying to keep organized for your cruise and you're looking for packing lists and more I do have the LifeWell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner. Now the LifeWell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner that you can print out the pages that you need for as many cruises that you do go on. Now it includes cruise packing lists, cruise outfit planning forms, cruise shore excursion planning forms, and more. I will leave all of the information linked down below in the description of this video in case you do want to check it out. Oh, and by the way, the Ultimate Cruise Planner doesn't come bound, but what I did is I did print it and then I had it bound at my local copy center. Reusable straws. I am telling you, this is absolutely the most genius thing. This comes in a package of four and you can see it's like a little keychain holder, so perfect. And what it is, is a reusable straw. So if those paper straws drive you crazy or even worse, the candy straws, well, then you have a reusable straw and it does even come with a little cleaning brush. Now, when it comes to your cruise card or your key card, you are going to want to make sure that you have a place to store it. Now, I like to bring a cruise lanyard. My husband prefers to use the cruise card holder, but either way, you do not want to misplace this, so make sure you bring it. Now, another cruise packing hack is make sure that you do bring luggage tag holders. Now, you definitely do not need this, but if you bring plastic cruise luggage tag holders, they are reusable, so it is very handy, and it is going to save you time on embarkation day. Now, I almost forgot, if you are going on a princess cruise, this is is a genius hack what you can do is your medallion will fit in any of the air tag accessories so you can use one of these if you have it at home it's kind of a keychain style or if you prefer the air tag accessory that goes right onto your apple smartwatch then you can do that too now if you plan on using your kindle or you plan on listening to any music or watching movies on your ipad make sure that you download all of that that you download that while you're on wi-fi at home or even worst case at the hotel don't wait until you're on the cruise ship because honestly the cruise ship wi-fi in terms of the download speed well it's unreliable at best pack dryer sheets yes you'll want to have a couple of dryer sheets in your luggage especially for the end of your cruise maybe you're bringing back a little bit of dirty laundry or maybe the shoes are just well you know exactly what i mean so put a couple of laundry sheets just in the pockets of your luggage now something else that you might want to do for dirty laundry is bring a couple of those fresher smelling kitchen bags to put your dirty laundry in to take home now it's also really smart to pack a very small bottle of dish soap so you can definitely bring a small bottle or another little trick is that you can take a sponge at home put a little bit of dish soap on it and then you can cut that sponge up into four or even six that is really good to bring with you if you do use the glasses in your cruise ship cabin you want to make sure that they are clean you can wash them yourself or otherwise if you bring a thermal mug or a water bottle you can wash these as well so speaking of water bottles, there are two water bottles that are pretty much the most popular ones to bring. So I have brought actually both. So this one really does keep everything cool. I personally really, really like this one. I do recommend it. Bring a water bottle, it's a good idea. But you might also want to bring this one, which is a collapsible water bottle. So if you are tight on space, bring this one. It will keep you hydrated. If keeping the water cool is more important to you, bring this one. Now, another super smart thing to pack is a thermal coffee cup. Now, I actually purchased this on a cruise because I forgot mine at home, but I love it. It works so well. But 
if you don't have one from your cruise and haul in America, then what you can do is just buy one on Amazon or at Walmart or at Target and just bring it with you on a cruise. Now, another little packing hack or tip when it comes to coffee and tea is what some people really like to do is bring their own tea bags on a cruise because sometimes they are gonna run out of kind of that basic tea, like an orange pico. So if there's a tea you like, bring it with you. The other thing that you might wanna do is bring flavored coffee creamers. If you don't have the beverage package that includes coffee and you don't wanna spend the money on that specialty coffee, you can bring coffee creamers and leave them in your cabin mini fridge. Now, some people say those cabin mini fridge aren't that cold so what you can do is you can ask your cruise cabin attendant to fill up the ice bucket and then you can leave the ice bucket in the mini fridge or you can just fill up a ziploc baggie with the ice and you could leave that in the fridge as well and then just place your coffee creamers right on top pack some ziplocs of different sizes and even some small Tupperware containers. Now, why would you use small Tupperware? Well, what some people like to do is they may grab something at the buffet and they may bring it back to their cabin for later, especially now that most cruise lines do charge for room service, not all of them. But if that's the case, that can be something really good. If you have kids, you might wanna bring back a couple of cookies or some crackers or something, or even some cheese or some fruit in either the Tupperware container or the Ziploc bags. And as well, Ziplocs are just handy for everything. Even if you just want to make sure a few things are a little bit waterproof when you go on a shore excursion, that can be handy too. Pack an electronics case to keep all of your charger wires and other electronic boxes and items. Now, this one is really handy, but I did wanna show you this because I think that this is genius. So I always had my wires that were kind of all a little bit messy until I saw somebody show me this. And basically what this is, is you have these little magnetic organizers and you can keep your wires attached with these. But the most genius thing is that these can actually stay stuck on your cabin walls because most of the time the cabin walls are going to be metal and magnets will stick on them. They came in a package like this, I did purchase them, and honestly, I am going to be putting these around the different wires in my house. Consider packing matching cruise shirts. It really is so fun to go on a cruise on embarkation day and matching cruise shirts, or maybe you are on a group cruise and you have matching cruise shirts, or you want to surprise somebody with some fun cruise shirts. This is something fun to pack. Now, something else you might consider is packing door decorations for your cruise. They do not have to take a lot of room. You could even bring a couple of magnets or stickers, or you could even go to the dollar store and pick up some seasonal decorations if you like. Pack a small personal fan. I think if you're going on a Caribbean cruise, this is pretty much a necessity. I could have really used this on my Mediterranean cruise. Consider bringing along some portable hangers. These fold up to next to nothing and are light as air. Pack sticky notes, pens, and a highlighter. Little things, but they are going to make the difference. Pack your own wine and drinks. Now, this is something that surprises a lot of people, but many cruise lines allow you to bring one bottle of wine per person on embarkation day and a small amount of drinks, usually not water bottles, but cans of Coke, that kind of thing. If you do not have a beverage package, check your cruise line policy and bring this on embarkation day to save a little bit of money. Bring cash on your cruise. So I'm saying that because bring cash on your cruise and do not take it out at the ATM on the cruise ship. There are big fees to use this, so bring what you need for tips and excursions. There are a few things that you should pack for your cabin, even though they are provided on the cruise. Well, they may just not be to your liking or not be what you need. So some of those things are shampoo, conditioner, body wash. You might just find that it really isn't the quality that you have even for a basic brand that's at a drugstore. And the other thing is a travel hair dryer. Now there is going to be a hair dryer. So if the hotel quality is fine for you, that's going to be fine. But if you need something a little better, then consider packing that and bringing it with you on your cruise. Now there are some super smart things to pack that are gonna help you to organize the space in your cabin. So one of those is magnet hooks. I think a lot of people know about this now, but magnet hooks and clips are absolutely genius. They do not take a lot of room and you can definitely bring those on your cruise. Now the other thing to consider packing is a hanging toiletry bag. Now I talk about this all the time, 
but it is because I love it so much and it is that good. So you can hang up this toiletry bag. You wouldn't even know that it hangs up, but it really does. You can hang that up right in your washroom or inside your cruise cabin. Bring along an extra duffel bag. So this folds up to next to nothing. It's really, really tiny and light. But if you think that maybe you might need an extra bag for the way home for different things that you may purchase, then definitely bring along an extra duffel bag for souvenirs and more. Now, when it comes to preventing seasickness, make sure that you absolutely pack boning or Dramamine, either one is absolutely fine. And something else that you might wanna pack is even a pressure relief band for your wrist and ginger candies. Now, something that I didn't mention, but I really should, especially these days, but anytime, bring throat lozenges, any over-the-counter cough and cold medication. It's always possible to get a cough, cold, or any illness while you're on a cruise or while you're traveling. Towel clips. So you can see this is my organization method. It really is a lot of times it's Ziploc bags, but you'll want to bring towel clips or towel bands. It gets very breezy on a cruise ship and it's super handy to have and at the beach as well. Pack a digital alarm clock. Now you wouldn't think you need a digital alarm clock, but a lot of people are surprised to know that there really is no clock in the cruise ship cabin. There's no alarm clock, no clock radio, nothing like that. So if you do want a simple alarm clock, bring that with you and that is pretty handy. A nightlight. Now there are a few different things that you could do to have a nightlight in a cabin. You could bring tea lights that you can find at the dollar store, of course the non-flammable kind. You can also bring the motion sensor nightlight that is honestly the most popular. And a little bit of a hack is that you can turn the TV on to the bridge camera and then this way when the sun comes up you can see the light from there. Now something that I forgot to bring on one of my cruises was a beach bag or a pool bag. I think it was on our Alaska cruise. I just didn't think about the fact that sometimes we might go to the pool even though it was not a Caribbean cruise. So definitely bring a beach bag of some sort. And that being said, make sure that you bring a swimsuit as well, even if you're not on a Caribbean or warm weather cruise. And flip flops or slippers for the cabin. Now, when it comes to your luggage, another cruise packing hack is that your luggage can actually be stored right under your bed. Now, if you do wanna store your luggage under your bed, make sure that your luggage is, well, 24 inch or 26 inch even does work. If your luggage is too big or too high, sometimes that won't fit under the bed, but otherwise it will. A power bar. I almost forgot this one, but it really is pretty important. There are very few outlets in a cruise ship cabin you're going to want to bring a power bar, but it has to be a non-surge protected power bar. Now, recently what I've been doing is using a power cube. It takes a little bit less room, but I do have a little bit of a hack for you. It's that you can take a European travel adapter and you can use that in the European plug in the cabin and that will really work. And those are pretty light and don't take up a lot of room. Now I'm gonna leave all of the items that I did talk about in this video, I'll leave them linked down below in the description of this video. And I'm also going to leave the information about the Lifewell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner in case you do wanna check that out. Now I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know your own cruise packing hacks. I know that when we share with each other in the comments, it helps other people. Now I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.